Hi guys, I'm Jiggles and welcome to my channel. Today I'll be showing you this Kylie Jenner inspired makeup tutorial using mainly only drugstore products. I want to educate people and show people that it is possible to achieve any look that you want using affordable products. If you'd like to see which products I use and how I got this look, then just keep watching. I went shopping! I bought this Sukin Rosehip Oil. Oh my lord of Jesus. It makes your skin look absolutely radiant. And then I bought this e.l.f. Blemish Control Primer. I've been breaking out the last few days, so I'm hoping that this is going to help. But it feels pretty good on the skin, it's really tacky, so you know that your products are going to stick really well onto it. My eyebrows are much thinner than Kylie Jenner's. So to get brows like hers, you want to prep your eyebrows first by brushing them in the opposite direction to what they naturally grow in. Pop some wax down just to hold them into place and then we can draw on the shape that we want. So I'm using this BIS Brow Definition Kit. BIS, B-Y-S, same thing. <laughs> and to create that extra thickness, outlining the brows much bigger than what I would normally do. And filling in all the sparse spaces. Then I'm grabbing this e.l.f. cream eyeliner in coffee to draw on individual hairs. So doing really light, small strokes, and this will make them look naturally thicker. And then using this spoolie to comb it through and blend it in. It's so weird, they're so much thicker than what I'm used to. If you guys haven't noticed already, this is one of my favorite products because it's the best thing I've ever found that covers up my dark circles. NYX Full Coverage Concealer in Orange. And the next product I'm trying out is a product that got donated to me by another brother's girlfriend who is just equally as amazing and as beautiful. <laughs> She's so cute. She donated me like a whole bunch of her old makeup that she doesn't use anymore. And I'm forever grateful. I mean, some people might find that gross, but I think that's awesome. I love freebies and hand-me-downs because I'm a cheap ass bitch. But I definitely don't recommend you guys going out and just taking products from just anyone. The Rimmel Stay Matte Jewel Action Concealer isn't really doing what I need it to do with the red spots. So I'm going back to my good old handy Maybelline Cover Stick Concealer in Green. Because this will just hide them and make sure that they're completely invisible <laughs> under my foundation. I finally got my Silly Sponge Dupe. And uh, this isn't going so well. <sighs> Yes, the Silly Sponge Dupe sucks. It's not blending. It's literally just sitting on top of the skin and it's moving around. Every time I swipe, it's like moving around. So that's going straight in the rubbish bin. So going back to my good old handy beauty sponge and using that to blend it in. And ah, oh, look at that. It's blending beautifully. <laughs> Next up is this CoverGirl Intense Shadow Blast Primer with Rich Shadow. I found that it started creasing quite badly, um, but it is such a pretty color. Like you can see, it's like just gives this really nice shine. Rimmel Scandal Eyes. So pretty. This is awesome to put down before your shadow because it'll give it a darker base and it'll also make it last longer. Now, this Bis Matte Eyeshadow Palette. And grabbing the nude color and using that as the transition color and then the dark brown color with the edge of something that's straight <laughs> just like this product that I've got here it's got a straight edge so I'm using this from the corner of my eye to the corner of my eyebrow as a guide and trying not to move it and trying to make it as straight as possible and packing it on in that outer corner just to make it smoked out and blending it seamlessly inwards. Then I'll be picking up some more color and also blending it more into my eyelid for a seamless effect. So for this particular look, she doesn't have a liquid wing liner. She uses a dark shadow to create the wing. So to achieve this look, I'm gonna spray my flat angled brush with some setting spray, just to create a darker shadow. And again, using the edge of this product to keep my line straight. Now this is a great tip for beginners 
who aren't confident in doing the wing liner, a great way to start is by using an eyeshadow, drawing it on, on top of a product with a straight edge. And if you're feeling a little more confident, you can even try tracing that shape that you've created with some liquid liner and see how you go. And this is why I can't have nice stuff. <laughs> So I'm grabbing this Bis Metallics eyeshadow palette in browns. So taking this lightest gold color as it seems to match the eyeshadow that Kylie's wearing and packing that on with a flat eyeshadow brush. So now another product that got donated was this Maybelline Hyper Glossy Liquid Liner. It's really thin, so this is, um, I found it both easy yet difficult to use because I have hooded eyes, I have to be mindful not to go too thick. So I'm just filling in from the inner tear duct to the outer edge and not going up towards the flick. If you don't know yet that this is my favorite mascara in the whole entire world, then you need to go watch some more of my tutorials. <laughs> it just coats every single lash. It honestly just makes them so long. Oh, it's beautiful. I cannot apply falsies to save my life and I have been blessed with naturally long eyelashes so I definitely prefer to be all natural rather than trying to do this tedious procedure of trying to put these falsies on even though yes they look amazing I just find them so hard to do this one oh made it look easy I was quite surprised I was like oh wow Well then, cool! I'll take it and pretend like I know what I'm doing. Ah, oh, yeah. It's so long. So pretty. And not as long and as dramatic as Kylie's, but I'm just working with what I've got. And then... We had one of these ones. Uh, oh my god! Seriously? Seriously, I knew it was too good to be true. One was perfect, and then the second one just like, yeah, no. Nah. I think this is why a lot of YouTubers <laughs> decide to do their lashes off of the camera. Like, I finally get it. I finally get it. Now, just using this liquid liner again, I heard that if your glue is still showing on your lashes, by going over it with some liner is a quick way to fix it up. Now, no one tells you how difficult that is to try to get the liner behind the lashes and try to make an even line. <laughs> Grabbing my Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer in Pale, which is much too light for me, but I love it because it means it's just an awesome highlighter as well. And blending it out with my damp beauty sponge, making sure to blend from the bottom up to get the best coverage. Then grabbing my Models Prefer Contour Stick. I'm going heavier with a contour. And with my nose, I'm contouring wider than what I usually would, as in this picture, it doesn't seem that Kylie's nose has been contoured to make it look thinner, but kept it as more of a natural shape. So now I'm just grabbing this damp beauty sponge and Blending them in. Just trying to blend that out with my fingers to keep it slightly heavy on the sides. I don't want to wipe away or blend too much, but I also don't want it to be too heavy. So just playing around until I find it quite right and applying a little bit more concealer right up to the base of the contour just to give it more of a dramatic look. Then using Face of Australia Translucent Powder to bake under my cheekbones because hers are really prominent in this. <laughs> I'm going to use a damp beauty sponge just to put some onto my nose, my forehead, on my chin and my mouth. But I'm not going to bake that area. For under my eyes, I'm using another new product that I also got from <laughs> my brother's girlfriend. This is Stralis Banana Powder. Now, I've never used a product like this before. I'm used to 
loose powder. So using this, I was a bit confused trying to figure out how to put it on. So this first brush is definitely not how you would put it on, I don't think, because it didn't really seem to do a whole lot. So I tried to switch to a smaller brush, but I think it was also still too fluffy. It's all right, it's all makeup, it's all trial and error. I'm going my W7 bronzer and forgetting to <laughs> remove the bake. So just going over the cream with powder just to make sure it's set and it's not gonna move anywhere. And Kylie's face in this is really, really quite warm. So I'm trying to put more product <laughs> just to warm up my face as well. So I'm gonna just do a, a basic outline of the look and then I'll go through and make sure it's all cleaned up the way that I want to. So here's another product that has <laughs> no writing. Uh, I was using this, I don't, I seriously don't know how to say this name. Bourjois, Bourjois, it's something super fancy and it's there and it's in the description box so you can read it however you would like to read it. It is what it is. <laughs> So grabbing that light brown and placing it under my lower lash line for some more definition. And with my Kali Baba palette, I'm going to highlight my nose, my inner corners, my brow bones, and only a little bit on my chin and forehead, but none on the cheeks. As you can see here in her photo, she's got mostly blush on her cheeks, not a lot of highlight. So. I'm keeping that to a minimum today, which makes me really sad because I love to bling. <laughs> I feel so incomplete. <laughs> so I'm putting more blush on just to, to raise it higher than what I did before, just to make sure I've really warmed up my face and I'm getting it as good as possible. And uh, I've noticed that she's actually got a highlight on her chin to draw attention to that area, which is another way to make her lips look bigger. And going higher up with the transition shade, right up to almost the eyebrow, only keep bare minimum highlight under the eyebrows. Pop some mascara on your bottom lashes. This NYX Lip Primer feels so good. <laughs> Oh, it just feels so good. Oh, yeah. It worked really well with the matte lipstick that I used. So this is the Australis Velour Lips Matte Liquid Lipstick in Mozam Chick. So of course overlining as much as possible, but not looking like a total, you know, moron. Tell me in the comments below how you make your lips bigger. I'm really curious to know. I wasn't happy with the edges. I didn't get too precise with the edges as I wanted to. So now I'm just using some concealer just to clean up the edges around the mouth. You gotta be really careful with this stuff, but it's amazing. Hashtag Kylie Jenner date you. I forgot to set my brows, so I'm just using this Maybelline Brow Mascara, which was also another gift. This is a tinted brow mascara, which is awesome because it'll even give it more dimension and make them look even thicker than what they really are. And finishing the look with my Australis Makeup Finishing Spritz. I just love the smell of this stuff, it's so divine. That completes the final look of our Kylie Jenner inspired makeup tutorial. And here we go again with the tedious part of any tutorial, the vanity. Oh Lord of Jesus, the vanity is real. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial and you learned something new, subscribe so you can keep up to date with all my new videos and never miss an opportunity to learn something new. I would love to hear thoughts about this makeup look and I'll see you on my next video. Mwah.